Hello, and welcome to this edition of the Advisacon webinar series, Achieving Alignment and Velocity with Microsoft Viva Goals. Today's webinar is brought to you by Advisacon, where we help you with tools and training to maximize your impact, productivity, and purpose. My name is David Hogan, and I am the Vice President of Strategy and Business Solutions at Advisacon, and I will be your host for today. Here's a quick look at some of the topics we'll be covering in this webinar. First, top-down and bottom-up goal setting, how to align organization and team objectives, updating progress in Viva Goals, and how to integrate Viva Goals with other applications to automatically update progress on objectives. First, a little bit about Viva Goals and OKRs. Viva Goals is a management tool that helps align organizations and their teams with their strategic priorities using the OKR framework. OKR is an acronym for the Objectives and Key Results Framework. It's a framework for setting and communicating strategic priorities, as well as managing the execution of those priorities. Typically, OKRs are made up of three components. First, an objective, that helps set a direction for a team or an organization, and then key results, meaning measurements that tell us that you're achieving your objective. We often refer to these as outcomes. And then initiatives, the projects and things that you were going to do to create those results, and we refer to these as outputs. It's very important that you differentiate in OKR between outcomes meaning, again, things that you hope to create as results are separated from outputs, meaning the projects that you're doing to create those results. Next, we want to talk now about top-down and bottom-up goal setting. In many strategic goal setting platforms, they are strictly top-down, but Viva Goals is aligned with OKRs, which are meant to be both top-down and bottom-up goal setting. And here, let's just take a look at an example. Here we're looking at Viva Goals and, and a setup for a company called VGD, which stands for Viva Goals Demonstration. And you'll notice I'm looking at the marketing group's goals within VGD, and they have a, a top objective here of establishing VGD as a top thought leader in their industry. And they have several key results, increasing their web traffic and increasing social media exposure. And then they have initiatives, meaning their outputs. They're going to develop case studies and they're going to launch a weekly podcast. You'll also notice within the view that identifies here what team is doing each of these items, what progress has currently been made against those key results or initiatives, and alignment, meaning what are those particular initiatives connected to? In this case, you'll notice that establishing VGD as a thought leader is what creating the weekly podcast is related to in terms of its objective. Next, just go explore a little bit within the company. At the top level, their objective is to transition from a startup company to a sustainable company. Well, what does that mean? Well, their key results are to increase their recurring revenue from 4 million to 7 million a year, to reduce their employee turnover, as it says here, from 25 to 10%, and to increase their number of subscribers to over 7,000. Now you'll notice that related to those are some additional goals from other groups. So let's take a look here at uh, product engineering, for example. Their goal is to deliver new products that attract new government clients. And we already saw what marketing's objectives were. So, you'll, <clears throat> so that's the collection of objectives so far. And these would all be examples of top-down planning, meaning as we look here again at the organization's goals, goals for the teams, are listed here. Again, examples of planning from the top down. Now let's take a look at the human resources team. We notice there's nothing here about them. Well, they have an objective 
to significantly increase their employee retention because you remember that was one of the key results of the company's top goal. But they also have another objective that they're concerned about, and that is that they want to be able to attract a top talent by creating a new uh, portal for hiring. So let's add an objective here called new hiring portal. Uh, to attract top talent. And we're going to make that an objective for the year, 2024. And it's, we'll keep everything else as it is. Now you'll notice as we create this, that this particular goal of creating a, a portal for attracting new talent was not something that was referenced in the company's top goals. So this is an example of planning from the bottom up, meaning setting a goal within our team that isn't necessarily related to any of the company's top objectives. Our next topic for today is alignment, meaning how do we get everybody pulling in the same direction? In many companies, as a consultant, you might go in and ask questions among people and ask them what the company's top priorities or objectives at the current time are. And many times, people won't be able to tell you. And there is a lot of value in being able to get an organization all focused and pulling in the same direction. And so how do we achieve that with Viva Goals? Well, again, looking here, you'll notice as I go to the organization's top objectives, you can already see that aligned to this top objectives are the top objectives of the engineering and marketing group. Let's go explore human resources for a moment. Here, and looking at their top objective of reducing turnover, you see that again, they have these key results and they have some initiatives such as creating a new one-on-one -on -one process and reworking uh, the exit interview so they get more specific information about why people are leaving. But they've also created a sub-goal, meaning a goal within a goal or objective within an objective of redesigning the company's salary structure. And that also has a key result and several initiatives in order to accomplish that. Great. But now again, um, we didn't see anything on the company's top goals about being related to human resources. So one of the ways that we can do that here is I can go to the alignment column. I can click add alignment and I can just type in a description of the company's top goal, which was transitioning from a startup. And I will just select that here. And it's been updated. And now you'll notice if I go to the company's top organizational goals and I expand, you'll notice that now that particular goal from the human resources department aligns here. So now you can see how they're connected. So that's wonderful. Now there's another uh, bird's eye view that I think is extremely valuable. And that is what we call the alignment view. So I'm going to switch to that view now. Now here you can see the companies again, the company level or organization level objectives. I can click here on this link and now it shows me the related sub goals from the different teams. And even in this case, I remembered that the human resource group had a sub goal to one of their goals. And so I can see a mapping of that as well. And so you can actually just move around within this, the hierarchy of your company's objectives and again, get this bird's eye view of all the objectives and how they're related and see all of the details essentially from one screen. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch back, of course, to our list view. Our next objective for today was to understand how to update progress in Viva Goals and how to utilize integrations between Viva goals and other applications that might allow us to update progress on goals automatically. 
And this is a huge value add because one of the impediments to adoptions of systems like this is that people don't want to have to fill out yet another report to uh, report progress on projects and uh, initiatives that they're working on. So having this integration that allows the system to update automatically from related systems is really a great value add. Here we can see on this slide uh, all of the different integrations that are supported by Viva Goals. So essentially it has the ability to reach out into these systems and grab metrics and update your progress on goals through that integration. It's amazing. Your administrator has the ability to turn uh, different integrations off and on. And uh, again, I encourage you, of course, to use that tool. Here within the human resources team, we're first going to update one of the OKR elements manually. You'll notice that they have here a key result that says all employees have a professional development plan. So every week, somebody is just going to come in here and give an update of where they think they are with that. And this is how they would accomplish that manually. Just clicking here in the status and progress area, and they could say this week we are at 35% complete and we are on track to finish on time. And I click an update. And so there is an example of a manual update. Again, not the most efficient, but it is certainly effective. Next, we want to show you the first of three ways to do an automatic update using one of those integrations that we talked about. And the first one we're going to do is an integration with Excel. You'll notice that we, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll notice that we have down here under the redesign company structure objective, we have this initiative that says that we want to review and adjust the salaries of all the employees as needed. And we want to be able to track our progress on getting that accomplished. Well, it just so happens that our human resource team has a spreadsheet that they're using to track uh, the status of the salary reviews for each of the employees and what its current status is. And they've created a formula in a field here that tracks how many of them are complete. So I'm just going to take a moment to notice that within this spreadsheet, uh, which is called salary review status, the percent that we're looking for is in column E, row three of the first sheet, worksheet of that um, particular Excel file. So let's go ahead and walk through now how you would integrate Viva Goals to actually pull the value out of this E3 field in that spreadsheet. So now within Viva Goals, I go to review and adjust salaries as needed. I'm going to edit that particular uh, initiative, and I am going to tell it that we want to um, create a metric. And so I click here on Add Metric, and I'm just going to call that Review. Uh, re <laughs> I'm sorry. Review Percent. And I want to be able to, uh, you can, of course, give it different elements here of comparison, but I'm going to say that we want to reach 100% with this particular metric. Now, when I go down to the progress and status section, you'll notice that it has added the ability, because I created that metric, added the ability to utilize those integrations. And I'm going to click here on Excel Online as the integration that I want to use. And I'm going to tell it that I want to use a particular connection. And it starts searching for workbooks. And you'll remember that that notebook was called Salary Review Status. And I'm going to choose that. And now within that particular um, file, I want to use the first worksheet. And I'm going to go to column E and find the value in row three. So row E, so cell E3, I click on next and save. And now you'll notice that 
with this particular initiative, it is now pulling that value 35% of the uh, reviews having been completed, and it will automatically update from here on out. So no need for a manual, a manual update to that metric. Next, let's do an example using Microsoft Planner. Let's go ahead and go to product engineering's set of objectives. And you'll notice that in here that they have an objective to increase the government users count to 2400, part of expanding into that market. And we wanna be able to know how many users we have in that sector at any given time without having to manually update it. So again, I'm going to edit and I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to add a metric. And I'm going to call that government users. And again, I want to reach a goal of 2,400 government users. That's the objective. Next, we want to utilize an interface to update using a Microsoft Planner. And so we're going to go here to our product engineering group. And here they have an initiative called develop and launch a mobile version of their application. And we want to continually track where they are in their progress with that. And they're utilizing a Microsoft Planner board uh, to track their progress. So we're just going to take a moment and look at that Planner board. And here you'll notice it has a series of cards or tasks. And there are two ways to utilize Microsoft Planner when updating within uh, uh, Viva Goals. First of all, you'll notice that, that a couple of the tasks are completed. So one of the things it can do is track a percentage complete by how many of these tasks or cards are completed. In this case, two out of what looks to be seven different cards. Or you can track progress within a single card utilizing the checklist by saying, well, how many of the items on the checklist are complete? And so we're going to actually utilize both of these in our particular example, just so you can see how it works. Okay, so coming back over here to Viva Goals, I'm going to edit the launch of the mobile app. And I'm coming over here to Outcomes. And I'm going to tell it to add a metric and just say uh, mobile percent complete. And again, I want to get to 100%. So I'm going to say reach 100%. And of course, I've left it here as a percent based on this option here. All right. And now scrolling down into the progress and status area, again, I can select the particular interaction that I want to use. And in this case, it is planner. So it's connecting to the planner boards within my integration, and I can select here from a list of planners, and it will be this one here called Develop and Launch the Mobile App. You can choose between the different buckets within planner and any labels that you like, and even specific tasks or tasks assigned to a particular person. In this case, I'm just going to say, tell me how many of the tasks I've completed. And it's previewing that it's saying we've completed two of seven tasks. So we're at 28.57%. I'm gonna click on next and save. And shortly it will update telling us that 28% uh, of these are finished. And sometimes you'll have to wait till it refreshes. But in this case, there you see it updating that task. Now, just for the fun of it, let's go ahead and utilize the other method, for example, of tabulating between items on a checklist within a task. And so I'm going to go back here again to editing. And I want to uh, edit the integration right here. And instead of telling me what the percentage of all tasks are completed, I'm now going to focus on a specific task. In this case, the uh, training of new customer service representatives. And I'm going to say that I want you to go into that task and tell me the percentage of checklist items completed 
within that task. And it says that six of the 12 items have been checked off. So now I'll click Next and Save. And then it gives us an update. Isn't that fantastic? And so again, this will continually update automatically, no need for manual updates. Now, the final integration that we'd like to demonstrate for you today is how to connect one of these elements with a Power BI report. You'll notice here in the product engineering that we have this key result, increase government user count to 2,400. And let's suppose for a moment that I had a Power BI report that actually showed me the number of government users somewhere within our organization. So instead of having to go get that information, email it back and forth and enter it, I just want to access the Power BI report in real time. So again, I'll go here to edit this particular key result. Again, I will add a metric and I'm going to call it uh, government users. And we want to reach, remember our objective is to reach 2,400 users. So having created the metric now, I go down here and I notice that among the integrations is Power BI. So I'll select that. It gets access to the Power BI service within my organization, showing me what reports I have access to. And I'm going to select this one, Chelsea Audio. Of course, this has nothing to do with government uh, users, but it will make for a good example. So here it shows me that particular uh, Power BI report, and it allows me to access the different pages within that report if I want to. And here I'm just going to say that we, uh, I'm going to pick one of these numbers. I'll just choose this one, and it will pick that number up, and now place it in the report. Again, oftentimes it might take a few moments for it to update on the screen with the values, but it tells me again in real time now how many government users I have based on that Power BI report. Absolutely awesome. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed learning about how Viva Goals can help your team be aligned around your most important efforts and easily track your progress using the many integrations available to Viva Goals. As always, we invite you to reach out to our team to find out how we can help you in your journey to achieve greater impact. I look forward to seeing you again on future webinars. And of course, I hope you have a wonderful day.